Hello friends, so welcome to this amazing lecture in Fleck where we can visualize how to upload a file in Fleck in the application itself. So to begin with, what we need to do is we need to just basically copy some part of the code from So that is the Fleck library which I've imported and from Fleck I've imported a couple of things like file picker, file result event, page, reference, row, text and icons. Okay, now I've also imported like the column from Fleck column, I've imported column and I start with the main function. So if you want to learn, if you want to practically apply these concepts, then it is requested that please follow along and code along so that you get to learn each and every, what each and every step means. So let's just start with the main function here. So main function has the page and I have page now and completing the function inside the function I have the progress bar which is in the form of a ring. So I have progress underscore bar. That bar would be in the form of a ring. So it will be a tick that is a dictionary which will have an str string comma progress string that is an empty dictionary now we have the files which will have the reference column so files is equals to ref i like use the ref and then inside the ref i have the column so i've created a column here and then close the column now so after okay, that's outside i have to close it that's it now upload button so i need an upload button so that upload button would be like a elevated button. So again, ref load underscore button would be is equals to ref, and then that would be an elevated button. That's it, elevated button, and then close it. Okay, so that's done. Now this is the main. Now inside the main function, I have the file picker. So I have def file picker result. I'll have file underscore picker underscore result. So this code which is there, this code is an extension of the code earlier of the file picker. So it's it's a updated version of the code, like to just check and to visualize the uploading of the files, right? So we have e and colon, we have file picker result event, this one, file picker result event. Now inside this, I have the upload button current disabled. So we we have to have the upload button which will be disabled first. So upload button dot current. So it's state. Basically, we are talking about its state. So dot disable. So yeah, we can disable here is equals to true. Initially, it is true if e dot files is none. So e dot the event is like e dot files is none. None else will be false. Obviously, the upload button status would be false. Now the progress bar currently is here. It won't be having anything, right? So unless and until you press the upload button, the progress bar bar will be clear. So progress bars, uh, progress bar is dot clear. That's the function now. Now files will be also clear. So there will be no files. So files dot current controls. So we are using the controls for the inputs. Huh? So if now e dot files e dot files is not none. If e dot files is not none, so what do we need to do now? So if e dot files is not none, then there'll be some value in the progress bar. There'll be some values in the files dot current. The controls will be not clear now. We'll have to append something, right? So we'll just write here now first for the progress bar. So for F in E files, we have for F in E files, we have so it's already written some code. I don't want that code now, so I just required this for F in E dot files. I have progress or progress prog is equals to prog is equals to progress ring. And for the progress ring, it will start from what it will start from zero value is equals to zero. And uh, the background color you can keep it as anything. You have background or else BG color. BG color is equals to you can select some 
uh, hang that as a milk code or uh, something and you can keep it as blue or anything and I can just give this color and press start. Okay, so that's it. Now we have the width and the height. So width is equal to I just forgot a comma here. Width is equals to I have uh, let's say 35 or 30 comma height is equals to again 30. So to visualize the bar properly and clearly, now we have progress bar f name is equals to progress completed. It's perfectly fine. That is what I require. And then I have files dot current the controls append. Now after that append, I have to have something here. So for this, I have the row, and inside that row now I add the progress bar as prog and then comma the text f name now that's complete now the prompt is complete and then now what i need to do is outside this if statement i have to complete the page that is page dot page everything is now fallen in place i have finally picked the file now now to view the upload progress so again i create a function here f and then on upload progress so when the uploading is in progress when the uploading is in progress that is file picker upload event and inside that i have the bars progress that is prog underscore bar and then what it will have it will have basically on the basis of the file we are uploading so e dot file name that is e dot file underscore name dot value so why the value because we had the value initially used here dot value e progress after that we have updated so we'll have prog underscore bar and then update now yeah, so that is what i require now after that outside this function i have file picker that is file underscore picker just a basic variable created and that will be having a file picker method now on result so what it will do is on result i'll have the file picker result and on progress or on upload progress it will be using the on upload progress so here it will be on upload itself only on upload on upload which we call in the on right now we need to create a function which will be basically uploading some files here now so to upload the files i create a function that is def upload files load underscore files and that will have an event e basically and i create a empty list that is uploaded file is equals to so i can upload as many files as possible now if the file picker dot result is not none is not none and is not none so i'll have multiple conditions and the file picker dot result file picker dot file picker dot result dot files is also not none so the result is not none and also the files is not none there is there is a file present so for f in the file picker files what we need to do is we need to append that and how we need to append like uf that append that list i'm appending something and what do i append so i append file picker upload file so i'll use file picker upload file and then i have f dot name First thing is f.name, that is a file.name, and then upload URL. Upload URL is equals to, I'll have page dot get upload URL. That will be get upload URL from here, and that will have f.name again, comma, comma, and some expires in some how many seconds it will take in integer. So it will expire in 600 seconds, and then I close this bracket here. So yeah, that bracket is closed. Let's just take this here. The bracket. Yeah, the bracket is closed here. 
after that I close uh, this bracket so this append is closed function is closed here and now we have the uh, outside the for loop we have upload we have to upload this right that list all the list all the files we have to upload them, right and now to hide the dialog in an overlay so just adding some um, the page overlay with this append function and completing the code so we have this code here which I just copy and paste it. So below this function, I'll have this paste. So this, I guess, has to go somewhere outside this function. Yeah, now it's proper. So uh, this ends with an uploads directory. So whatever file goes or whatever files you upload finally will go in this upload directory. So to be sure what we need to do is in the flex in the folder we need to create a directory that will be uploads to visualize that these files whichever we select are going inside this folder itself so if we check uploads directory is currently empty okay so now let's just complete the code and let's run this code now application okay so we have first is select the files so we select a file let's say we select navigation file or let's say we select a upload file we select this file upload open it and it shows the progress bar which is white in color and which is not animated it's not complete now we click on upload and we can visualize that the file gets uploaded here so be sure you just check or you just change the code here and rerun the application now. So we already have uploads folder created, application is running. We select a file that is uh let's say navigation and then we so here again the progress bar is empty, it's nothing, and then just upload so it changes its color. Now, once this is done, if you check the uploads file, the uploads folder, sorry, the directory, it has navigation.py. So that file is already uploaded inside this directory. So that's the code used for the uploading of the files. So the file picker was a basic code, but this is something in depth or advanced to upload files inside or using inside your application using Flex and using Python. So stay tuned for the future lectures. In the future lectures, we'll be going to learn some cool stuff and developing some cool applications, packaging the application of a flat app of uh, a flat app using Python and by installer so that you can be using that on a Mac OS or a Windows desktop. So that's it. Thank you.